Hey, good Monday morning to you, and I hope you're having a good day. In Trinidad and Tobago, today's a public holiday, and so this, if the devotion gets to you a little late, it's because of our own complications because of that. But we're glad that you came to join us. We want to remind you, we're having our zonal prayer meeting tonight. That means zone one and zone two. Uh, we'll be having prayer meeting tonight, starting six to seven, and we just want you to be a part of it because we need as many people on the platform as possible just believing God to remedy some of the dire situations we're finding our nation in at this time. We hope you will be a part of it. We're counting on you to be there. This week, I want to take a look at a passage of scripture from the book of John chapter 1, and I'm reading from verse 38. It says, Jesus looked around and saw them following him. What do you want? He asked them. They replied, Rabbi, where are you staying? Come and see, he said. And it was about four o'clock in the afternoon when they they went with him to the place where he was staying and they remained with him the rest of the day. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of these men who heard what John said and then followed Jesus. Andrew went to find his brother Simon and told him, we have found the Messiah, which means Christ. Then Andrew brought Simon to meet Jesus. Looking intently at Simon, Jesus said, your name is Simon, son of John, but you will be called Cephas, which means Peter. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, come, follow me. Philip was from Bethsaida, Andrew and Peter's hometown. Philip went to look for Nathanael and told him, we have found the very person Moses and the prophets wrote about. His name is Jesus, the son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nazareth, exclaimed Nathanael, can anything good come from Nazareth? And I wanted to stop there because I wanted you to realize how many opportunities and options are available to us as we seek to lead peace people to Christ. Hear what happens. Jesus spoke to John the Baptist. After being baptized, Jesus left. John said, this is the Son of God. This is the Son of God. What happened is, Andrew heard him follow Jesus. Andrew went and found Peter. Peter came and was introduced to Jesus by his brother. Then Jesus went out and found uh, Andrew, and you could t- uh, and you could tell. Sorry, Philip, and you could tell immediately upon finding Philip. Jesus said to him, "Come and follow me." Philip then went and found his brother Nathaniel, and said, "Come and see. Come and see the one that Moses and the prophets spoke about." I want you to begin to realize they all came by different means. John told one. Nath- Philip told one. Jesus went himself. There are so many ways that people can encounter Christ. We've got to give them an opportunity to encounter the Jesus of the Bible. Every disciple begins with an encounter with Jesus. You cannot be a disciple of Jesus without a real, modern-day, full-fledged relationship or encounter with Jesus. That encounter comes when we come face to face with this Christ. Our preconceived notions may be put to the test. Our resistance may be put to the test. Our biases may be put to the test. Our pers- our perspective on a, on a particular location, position, or people that come from that area might be put to the test. But all of us need an encounter with Jesus. Each of these people may have taken varying routes to get there. However, you came into a relationship. Let me inform you, brother, sister. You've got to have that relationship. It is more important than any other pursuit in your life. I see too many people starting this relationship and falling off the wagon, as it were. I want to encourage you, as you have encountered him, stay with him, stay the course, remain in him. In Jesus' name.